welcome back friends in today's uh, video we are going to start with some series of videos on endeavor os so in endeavor os we have earlier done a few videos i think 15 20 videos are there on endeavor os and we want to continue with the uh, more videos on endeavor os so we are starting with the endeavor os i have installed the endeavor os on my system so it is a dual purpose i can make videos on endeavor plus i can try out the endeavor os for a long time so Earlier, I have done a long-term uh, testing of Debian, Fedora, this uh, Linux Mint was there. So, these three systems have proven to be very user-friendly and they have got very uh, good uh, stability on long-term basis. Then, I also tried Arco Linux for a few months. Arco Linux was also very nice. It was quite stable and I didn't face any stability issues. Plus, I have done... Uh, the use of pop, uh, pop OS for some time, maybe one or one or two months, then I tried other OSs also. So, I need to do such testing so I can uh, give you my reviews in a better way, in an accurate way. So, we will now continue with the Endeavor OS uh, from this video onwards. So, I already installed the NVIDIA drivers on my system yesterday. So, I they were the output of the installation method to install the NVIDIA drivers on an NDR OS. So, to install the NVIDIA drivers on a NDR OS system, what you have to do is, you have to open your terminal and you have to type this NVIDIA dash installer. Then you have uh, keep a space and then type dash H. So, what is this? NVIDIA installer is a helper to help you in install NVIDIA drivers on your system so it will uh, uh, you can use this to detect the correct uh, nvidia uh, you can say chipset install on your system and according to the nvidia chipset that is installed on your system you can find the uh, applicable nvidia drivers from the repos and those can be installed so it just it is just like nvidia dash driver in debian or uh, even in ubuntu also you can use that so First, you have to use the NVIDIA Detect and then you have to use NVIDIA uh, NVIDIA driver in Debian based systems. So, similarly in Endeavor, you have to use the Endeavor dash install, that is the Endeavor installer. So, NVIDIA installer is to help you install drivers for the NVIDIA GPU. So, usage, there are some options are there, you can see it here. Dash H is help, dash B, that is double dash Bumblebee, it is used to install the Bumblebee and NVIDIA drivers for the Optimus card. So, this is uh, for very old uh, systems, having the NVIDIA card. So, the older NVIDIA cards can be uh, installed and supported by using Bumblebee in conjunction with the NVIDIA drivers. Then, there is this dash F or dash dash force. So, force drivers uh, installation even if the NVIDIA card is not detected. So, for some reason, if the NVIDIA card is not getting detected and you know that there is an NVIDIA card, it is a functional NVIDIA card on your system, then you can force the driver installation for your NVIDIA card. Then, dash N or dash dash no view, so it will install the open source no view driver instead of the NVIDIA DKMS. DKMS is nothing but the dynamic kernel module system. Dash O or double dash open. So, it installs the NVIDIA open DKMS instead of the NVIDIA DKMS. So, it is the open source drivers are getting installed instead of the NVIDIA DKMS proprietary drivers. Then there is dash P dash dash prime. So, it will install the prime render upload along with the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. Dash Q or dash dash quiet is to suppress the log messages. Dash T double dash T test is it is the test mode of NVIDIA. So, you nothing in your system will be modified. Uh, only you can test which uh, which release version of NVIDIA is working on your system or not. So, you can use this to test the different versions of NVIDIA drivers and find the suitable drivers which works uh, stably on your system. Dash V dash dash version is to the version of this software. So, it will show you the version of the software. Dash 32 is install also the support for 32 boot applications. Dash conf or the configuration is create also a file etc11 xorg.configuration.d 
ट्वेंटी डैश एनवीडिया कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो माइट बी नीडेड ऑन सम ओल्डर सिस्टम सो ओल्डर सिस्टम माइट बी हेविंग सम डिफरेंट कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन द इटीसी फोल्डर सो फॉर फॉर दैन दिस इज द वर्क अराउंड डैश डैश ड्राइवर्स इज शो सपोर्टेड एनवीडिया ड्राइवर सीरीज नंबर फॉर युअर कार्ड डैश लिस्ट सीरीज इज द लिस्ट एनवीडिया ड्राइवर वर्जन सपोर्टेड बाय द एनवीडिया इंस्टॉलर डैश डैश इग्नोर इज इग्नोर ऑल एरर्स यूजफुल फॉर टेस्टिंग ऑनली डोंट डू इट फॉर युअर प्रोडक्शन रिक्वायरमेंट अदरवाइज the drivers might fail and then uh, your system will be without the nvidia gpu dash dash series is advanced use of given nvidia driver version it is also for testing don't use it for production dash dash list options so it will list the options supported by the nvidia installer dash dash legacy repo so it adds a third party repository for legacy 470 and the 390 nvidia driver series note the package nvidia dkms will be selected for install if none of the options that is this uh, dash dash bumblebee dash dash novi or dash dash open is used so if you don't use this suffixes after nvidia installer in your command line then it will install the proprietary nvidia drivers option dash dash legacy repo is no more supported instead ea can be used for installing the legacy nvidia drivers from aer so If you are having a legacy NVIDIA card, then you have to directly go to the AUR, search for the drivers from AUR, and install those legacy drivers for your legacy NVIDIA card. So for my system, what I did is NVIDIA dash installer space dash dash driver. So I didn't give it option to install the Novi or Open Source drivers. So directly it will now go and install the uh, this. Uh, proprietary drivers for nvidia so on giving the command nvidia installer space dash dash drivers it showed me my card that is uh, if95 fetching the driver data from nvidia.com series 535 is supported so the nvidia driver series 535 is supported and the minor version is 0.86.05 so now note that the nvidia beta dkms 535 86 Zero five is an AUR package to install it. Use the command. So it is showing me how to install it. So I have to give the command y dash s nvidia dash beta dash dkms. So I prefer not to use the beta version because there might be some bugs. And you know, uh, in Arc there is shiny new software and the things can break. So better to use the stable nvidia proprietary drivers. So what I did was I just uh, stop that command. and then i directly went to install the nvidia proprietary drivers using the nvidia dash installer space dash p so p if you come here it will show that it will install the nvidia proprietary drivers along with the prime render offload so it is showing me the message selected mode is prime nvidia card if95 fetching the driver data from nvidia.com so again it was showing me that the beta dkms uh, yes so again it was showing me that the nvidia beta dkms 535.86.05 version of nvidia proprietary drivers is available then it started the installation of the nvidia prime and the nvidia settings uh, package then uh, by default the following commands were executed that is the pacman dash syuq dash dash no confirm dash dash no progress bar dash dash needed nvidia prime and nvidia settings so these two packages are a dependencies so without them the nvidia prime and the nvidia drivers won't be installed so it is uh, uh, necessary uh, dependency and after this you can see it here it started synchronizing the package databases the ndr os started downloading core extra and multi lib uh, repos were updated and the drivers and all other related dependent packages started downloading after the download you can see it here the size of the packages the extra lib xn uh, lib library x and v control so uh, basically what happened is it did not install the stable nvidia 525 or 520 series of drivers it went and installed the beta drivers only so i i thought that maybe uh, this way i will install uh, the where it was yes 
by using this command it will install the stable drivers but it did not install maybe it is pre-programmed to install those beta drivers only so the beta drivers were installed you can see it nvidia prime and the nvidia settings also it is from the beta series of drivers and beta packages so totally you can see here this is the installation size and then the installation actual installation happened for the nvidia settings libx nv control nvidia prime and finally the post transaction hooks were updated conditions were uh, conditions were armed and it system asked us to reboot the system after rebooting the system you can see it here i got the nvidia control so the nvidia driver is working now how to know whether the driver has properly installed or not so if the driver is not installed you will not see the system information here so here you can see the nvidia driver version is shown nvml version is shown so this is the confirmation that the driver has installed also you can see the thermal sensor uh, information and the power miser so if power miser is working then you have to know that your system is perfectly working if this this doesn't come up the thermal settings won't come up and you don't see any information here also so the graphics card information is shown it is perfect you can see the version of your graphics processor or the graphics chipset so mine is uh, geforce uh, gtx 1650 ti graphics card from nvidia so it is showing all the perfect information even the vbios version is also shown perfectly so this means that the system is working the nvidia drivers proprietary drivers are properly working so this is way to reconfirm whether drivers have installed successfully or not so that's it so this is the way it is very easy quite quite easy to install the nvidia drivers in uh, arch linux also so each of the uh, arch linux distributions might have some different ways to install for ex example in manjaro you can install it from uh, the driver installation utility and also you can install it from terminal also and in NDOS since NDOS is a terminal based system so it gives a lot of preferences or uh, to the terminal uh, way of installing and administering your system you have to use the terminal way to install the NVIDIA driver so with this I will stop the video here in the next video we will uh, do some other activity in NDOS bye bye